Hello there. Thank you for taking the time to click on this video. I do appreciate it. And if you clicked on this video, you probably did so because you're in the market for a new pair of waders. And coincidentally, so was I. And I have decided to go with this brand right over my shoulder. And be sure to stick to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you a way to save some big time money on a set of waders and also about a project that I'm working on that I think you might wanna get involved with. So with that being said, let's talk about waders. So let's first talk about why I chose Drift. First and foremost, as you know, if you've watched a lot of videos on my channel, I like to support family owned companies and Drift is that, they are a family owned company. The next is I wanna also support and get behind quality products. Now I haven't used this set myself. We are gonna get on the river and put them to the test today, but I've gotten a lot of great feedback from people that I trust that have talked to me about, hey, you should really take a hard look at Drift because I think you're gonna like what you see. Three major things that stood out for me right away with these waders, besides being a family owned company. First and foremost is our website. If you look under the website, they talk about 100% satisfaction guaranteed. And that is a strong statement coming from any company that makes a product that are designed to be waiting around in the water. So that stood out to me in the, in the very beginning. The next is what I discovered this called blue sign design. What that means is that it's manufactured with textiles with both people and the environment in mind. And that's also important to me. And with every waders that they sell, they will plant a tree, which as you know, helps with salmon and trout habitat. And by the way, that blue sign product, I mean the packaging, right? It came in this mesh little bag, no plastic. They really did go minimal when it comes to the packaging. And I love that because I literally am not throwing anything away. And the stuff that I am throwing away is recyclable, pretty smart. Okay, now let's talk about durability. So at first glance, I have high confidence that these things are gonna be durable. Why? Is because the fabric that they use in the lower section of the wader is five ply. And that is a lot of layers when it comes to waders. So they're gonna be puncture resistant, they're gonna be scrape resistant. So the top half of the waders are three ply. And what that's gonna give you is comfort and breathability so that you can feel comfortable if you're out there fishing hours and hours and hours wearing these waders. So another thing I'm pretty stoked about is the amount of storage. There's a ton of storage when it comes with these waders. So it's got hand warmers and two front pockets with water resistant zippers for anything you want might wanna pack. The other cool factor is on the inside. They've got these very large mesh basket. And for me, as you know, I do a lot of filming when I fish, I have to carry an extra battery pack around and that is gonna work perfect. Rather than taking up the entire zipper pocket of most waders, I'm gonna be able to put them in this side zipper pocket, but I love having the extra storage. I also wanna mention how comfortable these things are. I'm very happy with how they feel. I'm tall, as you know, six foot seven. I have a 36 inch inseam and the XLs have 36 inch legs. And that is super, super important when you're gonna be in a wader all day and stepping up on things and something that I'll demonstrate later today when we go fishing. But having a 36 inch inseam is just paramount for anyone that's taller. They do have an XL short for anybody that does have more normal size legs. So they have both, which is a really great feature of these waders. You do get two wading belts. You get a neoprene wading belt and a rigid wading belt. I prefer the rigid because I do put my Opro's third hand and it's just nice to have that rigid holder. And I also occasionally carry my sidearm and just to have a rigid belt for me is better. But there are both, so you can decide what's best for you. Circling back to safety. When you're out there wading, right, safety is paramount. And they have designed some features in these waders that I really like. So first, there are three belt loops, right? Because it's important that your wading belt stays affixed if a disaster were to happen and you were to fall in, right? The, the most dangerous part about waders is having them fill up. And they've got two features that'll mitigate that. The first one is that belt and having three belt loops so you can keep that belt nice and tight. And the other is this draw strap on top. You can really cinch the waders around your chest just to mitigate the possibility of a lot of water coming in really quick. And I've had firsthand experience fishing with a friend that that can be disastrous. So I love those features. And I gotta tell you, my wife loves those features on this waders because they, they just seemingly are gonna be far more safe in case you have a tragic accident, right? keeps you nice and bundled up 
and keeps the water out just in case you fall in. Not completely out, but it'll slow, it'll slow the water from entering your waders and give you enough time to get up and get into safety. So I should also mention that I chose the Primo Zip Waders just because I like that convenience of getting in and out of the waders, being able to zip them up this far. I mean, that's that makes it really easy to get into. And we all have to go to the bathroom, right? <laughs> to be able to zip, unzip it like this, that is the way to go. And it doesn't cost that much more for the Zip Waders. Definitely worth it. The next feature is kind of cool. I just thought maybe it was for design, even though you're never gonna look at the bottom of your feet. But what's interesting is they've got a little traction on the bottom of the booties. And why that's important, if you ever wore wading boots for long periods of time, your neoprene will have a tendency to shift. So having a little non-skid type of material on the bottom keeps that neoprene from sliding around your boot. And that's actually a pretty cool feature, well thought out. You also have some D-rings in the front and also some small kind of heavy fabric holders just in case you like to carry the tools on lanyards on your waders or maybe it's a net or maybe it's whatever you might want to hang on your waders if you're not carrying around a sling pack or a vest. Personally, I also like the very clean lines and design of the front of the waders. They have a flap that covers the zipper, so that's completely invisible. They thought of everything as well. You might notice that on my buckles, they're opposing. Why? Because if you're camping and you wanna put it over an easy up or around a tree, you can just clip these together and you have a really nice hanging point in case you wanna dry it or waders. And that is just smart, innovative thinking right there. All right, well, I think we did a pretty good job covering all the features and benefits of these bad boys. So let's go put them to the test on a local river. I'll see you on the river. Another little guy. Leg room when bending down, check. I don't feel like anything's binding and it feels comfortable. Well, I put the new drift waders to the test and I have to say, I'm very happy with their performance. The cool thing is that you can feel the durability, right? They don't feel heavy, they're super lightweight, but you can feel that there's a five ply type of fabric protecting your legs. So if you do any bushwhacking, getting in any stickers or sticks, they're not gonna puncture through. You can just feel that durability down below. And the three layers up top, are definitely thin enough to where the waders are breathing and I'm not, you know, sweating, sweating up a storm even though I'm hiking up this creek. So very happy with the overall performance. So we talked a little bit about in the beginning how you can save money. Well, there's two ways. The first way is just drift itself, right? They, again, family owned company, they sell only online. They have quality products for a shockingly low price. I mean, they are on par with the most expensive waders out there for really about a third less. So there's one way. The other way is I'm now a pro ambassador. I partnered up with Drift and you can save a little money by using my coupon code. So 5% and if you buy Drift waders using my coupon code, they're gonna send you kind of a fleece buff, which might work out well for you this uh, since the winter months are approaching. So you can save 5% on the real low prices that are already on Drift's website. I just realized I didn't give you the code. So the code is FLYFISHDAN. So F-L-Y-F-I-S-H-D-A-N. And that'll save you the 5%. And get you the free gift. <laughs>